Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a run-through of Leaf Green version by yours truly. I'm gonna have to be quite honest with you guys. Here's, guys, here's my, uh, here's my Pokemon confession. I've never played this game. Well, actually, I've played this game. That's, that's, that's a lie. But I never finished it, nor did I finish, or I don't think I ever played, Fire Red version. And the reason behind it is, uh, I just, well, I just never got into it, and, uh, before I knew it, Gen 4 came along, and, uh, pretty much blew me out of the water. I mean, the special physical split and all that, all those changes, and it kind of made me not want to look back, and pretty much I'm going to prove myself wrong by playing these games. So hopefully, uh, this time, I'm going to be able to finish, uh, this remake, uh, Green Version was actually my very first version, believe it or not. I lived in Japan when I was in uh, kindergarten, first and second grade, and I got my Pokemon Green, and that was my first Pokemon experience. So there's a little of, uh, bit of Sea uh, Jump trivia for you. And um, yeah, I had, a, I had a blast. I mean, it was a big hit in Japan, and it was like 1997, 1998. And the 1998, of course, it came to the western shores, and it became a hit everywhere. I mean, Pokemon is awesome. Uh, thumbs up if you like Pokemon. I hate that shit. Actually, I'm never, I'm never gonna ask for a thumbs up except for that uh, sat satirical one right there because I don't know. I just feel like it's annoying, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you think of uh, uh, would agree with me. So. Yeah, so this is gonna be a remake of my first version. I th I think it is, um, because they 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 kind of like screwed it up with red and blue versions in the West, where it was all one version. It was based on Pokemon Blue, and so everything got kind of screwy and confusing uh, in terms of localization. Um, so I think this is a true. Um, otherwise, they would call it like Water Blue or some shit like that, you know? I think this is a true uh, remake of Green Version, so we'll see. Not that it matters, I mean, it's not, it's not that much different. I mean, it's just different Pokemons and Pokemans and what have you. So, uh, we're just gonna get started. And one thing I'm gonna do to make this extra interesting is I've never done the Luz L L L Nuzlocke Challenge, so I'm gonna uh, attempt to do a yeah, a Nuzlocke challenge in this playthrough, so uh, much to my chagrin and much to your enjoyment. And uh, so over here, I'm gonna set my own rules. So before, I'm gonna set the rules before I start playing just to make sure that I'm gonna follow them. So right here, I'm gonna go into the Bulbapedia page for a uh, Nuzlocke challenge. As you can see, the challenge right here, it's, uh, it's cut off. Um, I sure it's the real web, web website. So right here it says, uh, let's zoom in here a little bit. Um, uh, how do we actually move this shit? Uh, good enough. So rules right here, the most basic uh, Nuzlocke rules. Any Pokemon faints is considered dead and must be released. And I am not gonna have a dead box like uh, Hayden or whatever, uh, you know. I think most of you who watch this video will watch. And if, if, if you haven't, check out Hayden's video. Uh, channel it's it's a popular uh, pokemon channel i don't know uh well anyway it's just a a point of reference anyway when he, when he did his nuzlocke challenge he had a dead box and what that is is that he could never you know retrieve that pokemon again i feel that that's kind of um i don't know cheesy if a pokemon dies i'm gonna release it you know just be just to simulate death better you know just to have a more morbid sense of um animal abuse so there we go so that's gonna be my rule when a pokemon faints and the pokemon uh, blah, blah, blah. the player may ca only catch the first pokemon encounter blah 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 i think you're all familiar with this general rule and i'm gonna follow it uh except for one exception if i encounter a shiny or whatever i'm gonna catch it uh if it's the second pokemon i'm gonna i'm not gonna use it in my team but i am gonna catch it you know fuck you uh i'm gonna catch my shiny that's one of the most enjoyable yet very rare occurrences that you're gonna have in Pokemon and I'm gonna do it so over here these optional rules blah 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 uh, you know some of them seem pretty interesting like the limited uh, healing that you can do uh, within uh, you know the game but um, 
I feel like, you know, this is my first challenge. I'm just going to go with the generic rules and see what happens. You know, there's no reason to uh, just, you know, overreact or just uh, be overwhelmed by all these little, little things, especially because it's, it's self-enforced. A lot of these rules and I'm gonna forget them anyway so we're gonna go with these two rules with the exception of the shiny thing so uh, here we go let's go back into the game and uh, I forgot to uh, I don't know if I should voice act or not probably not because my voice is actually shitty uh, so I don't know I actually don't know the reason why I'm doing all these videos because I hate my voice to be honest uh, but yeah here's Professor Elk with a needle needle ran female blah 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 <coughs> so I think uh, here's a little trivia for you. I love trivia. Uh, we're gonna be. Gonna be uh, what should we be? Let's be a gal. Let's be Leaf. Or, uh, I think that's her mechanical name. And uh, what, what was I talking about? Yeah, the. Let's have a gender neutral name. Just because. Uh, how about. How about what's, what's a gender neutral name? Fucking Christ. Let's be eggy. Let's be eggy. Uh, cookies for those who get the reference. Reference. Eggy is a is a uh, gender neutral name, right? Come on, guys. Um, so your name is Eggy. Yes, yes it is. Uh, the trivia, trivia, trivia. What did I say about the trivia? Oh yeah, yeah. In the actual original uh, versions, I think. Professor Oak, being the expert he is, sends out a Nidorino, and I guess it's not his fault, it's the actual game's fault, because he didn't do anything wrong. It is a Nidorino. Uh, but um, it had the cry of a Nidorina. I don't know. There's just, The first versions were kind of fucked up with all these, those glitches, and no one knew what, what they were doing. Um, seriously, the Gem 1 games, I love them, but they're kind of... They're kind of glitched up to the max. So we're gonna call our rival, I don't know, something... Nobody likes our rivals, and uh, something derogative. I mean, that's kind of cliched though, so we're gonna call him... Dookie. That, that's, a good, that's a good name, it fits him. Let's call him Dookie, and it does fit, so... Dookies. Dookies. Dookies, okay, that's good. So that's fit. Oh, was it Dookies? Yes, of course, you see that old fool. And I'm gonna... Even though I have uh, unlimited uh, time, duration, blah blah blah, YouTube, I think I'm gonna have 15 minutes per episode. I think that's pretty good, so we're, we're more than halfway through this episode already and I haven't done anything yet because I love to ramble. And uh, what's this? So it's an NES, even though in the original I think it was a Super Nintendo. I love trivia. So we kind of down downgraded here, which is kind of ironic. I love my little hat here. Let's get our potion because we because we know our in and outs of this game before even playing. Okay. Um, so yeah, no, the healing rules, blah blah blah. Those little rules, I'm just not gonna follow them because uh, that's too much to keep track of. Uh, let's talk to her mom now. Let's just leave her alone. All alone in a house forever without even saying goodbye. So we're gonna go up here. Uh, we're not gonna. We're not gonna be doing any sort of bullshit. We're just gonna go right into the story. It's unsafe. You need a wild Pokemon, or I don't know. You need a Pokemon to face the wild Pokemon's. And I'm gonna be getting Bulbasaur. That's the first first guy, little guy that I got. I love Bulbasaur. Uh, all those little. Little faggots that I played got Charmander and got stuck with Ember until level. I guess Generation 3 made, made it a little bit better, but Generation 1, I'm gonna be honest, Charizard sucked, okay? I'm gonna get a lot of down votes or down th thumb, thumb votes, whatever YouTube uh, implements uh, because I badmouth Char Charizard, but uh, of course, Charizard is the arch nemesis of Venusaur, and I love Venusaur. Uh, Leech Seed is the best move in the game. Etc. 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 And uh, seriously, those charges are suck. They didn't learn flamethrower until level like forty something. I don't know. Don't take my word for it, but it didn't learn a legitimate move until a very long time. Uh, and it just it just kind of sucked. And Squirtle was okay, I guess. I don't know. I learned Surf. And Surf is broken. It's OP. Um, 
I think they switched the order. Even though Bulbasaur is number one on the Pokedex, I think Charmander was the first one in red and blue version, I believe. And oh yeah, I forgot the rule about naming your Pokemon. I name my Pokemon anyway, so that's not much of a rule as just enforcing my own habits anyway. You want to give a nickname to Bulbasaur. It's a male Bulbasaur. You always want to pay attention to the gender, because sometimes you name your Pokemon like Maximilius, like a really man manly name, and it's like a female, and then, you know, you make a fool out of yourself. So we're gonna name him... Hmm, what? I fucking hate naming. Actually, I love naming, but it's just, I, I'm on the spot because I'm recording, and I don't know what to do. Uh, Bulbasaur, how about... How about a nice name, like... Patty. There, Patty. See, that's that's a male name, right? Patty. Okay. Let's go, Patty. And this little doucher is gonna pick Charizard or Charmander, whatever you call that thing. Because, uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna be a doucher like that. The first doucher in video gaming. Actually, that's, that's untrue. The gaming, uh, the Pong board was probably the first doucher. Actually, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna, I'm walking around in circles. Let's, let's, this first battle for, for Bulbasaur is a little tough. Considering Tackle is kind of shitty before Gen 5 and Charmander gets the OP scratch. So we're gonna do our best. We do have our potion and I hate to get a game over this quick. Shut the fuck up. I, I, I played this part before. I never played this game, but I know there's like tutorials and I'm a veteran, okay? I don't need to know how to push the A button, or in this case, the Z key. Oak. Is there any way to skip this stuff? So I'm gonna growl just just first turn. I always do this in the initial battles. I think it adds up, considering how long the battles take. So I think it's good strategy. And if they do another status move to me, then I'm just gonna keep on tackling. Oh my god. Shut up. And, uh... So yeah, that was, that was a good call. And I am faster, wow, this, this Bulbasaur is kind of fast, I think. Uh, they're the same levels and, you know, they're not EV train or anything, I think. I might have hit the jackpot as far as speed EVs are concerned. And in all honesty, in-game playthroughs, uh, IV, IVs and EV training, it, it didn't really matter, you're gonna waste your time doing that kind of shit. Get a fucking crit. Okay, I'm gonna use the potion because I'm not taking any chances. Oh, shut up! Oh, please shut up. Okay, yeah, I, I sound irritated. Um, that's because I am. Because I really hate the holding hands kind of deal that modern gaming imposes on the the player. And here we go again. Uh, if it faints, blah blah blah, then I get a game over. Not taking any chances. And so we cheat a little, but we have this battle in the bag, unless it gets like a quadruple crit in one turn. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of surprised my Bulbasaur is, is uh, faster than Charmander, that's something. I'm gonna have to check their base speeds. Maybe maybe they have the same base speeds, just because I, I really don't know the base stats of anything other than like fully Ball Pokemon. And you know, who, who else? Uh, does know I'm, I'm confusing myself who knows the base stats of every you know unevolved Pokemon that's what I'm trying to get at and I think it learns wait it, it doesn't learn Beach Seed level 6 I thought it did maybe they changed it in gen 3 I don't know I don't know if you guys can uh, hear me violently just smashing the keyboard trying to get through this if I'm wrong, this uh, I don't think this guy gives you anything. I think that's in gold and silver. I mean, all these games are just rehashes, right? Am I right? Am I right? I think my uh, Pokemon is auto healed. Yep, for no reason, just like in the first gens. And uh, you were not there in the previous gens, and you also were a lot quieter, even though you didn't exist. Uh, did I just talk to you again? Okay. Oh god. Okay, so. Um, fuck. Yeah, the rules were kind of important. I guess I just kind of skipped through that. Oh, look, it's 15 minutes. We'll, we'll talk about the rules in the next episode. I'll see you guys next time.